All right, what is up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. So I did want to make a video today going over something I have been noticed everyone talking about. We all do know now that the skills have been changed a bit with how you actually get rewards from them. Like before the current update, you obviously could go through them and like probably grind them out and get parts and you know do it then restart and keep running through that to get different parts sets maxed out. But now unfortunately I do have a feeling players are not going to like the way that it is. The first thing I also do want to say is I would probably guess there is most likely a way around it. I just haven't really been messing with the skills enough to know that, but do let me know in the comments below if there is a way to get around the 30 minute time limit. If you guys are wondering, that is going to be correct. So for example, sitting here on the racetrack in front of this slalom in the lovely ZR1, I did recently do this one here and it does say reward available in 18 minutes 50 seconds. Now the crazy part about this though is if you spawn over to any skill in the game, so for example right here guys, I am going to run a quick speed trap in my drag car. I'm also going to get into why a lot of players are going to be upset about this here in a second, but running this random speed trap here guys at the Mona Center. Now let's see if I actually get parts from it. So yes, you might get one part, maybe two. I actually did a few of them with a lovely loot digger. Guess this, I got two parts every time I did it, and another time I only got one part running a loot digger set guys and right there i did not get parts at all from it running a regular chemist so like yeah you might be able to do it and you know farm some of these but here's the other problem you might not even get parts from doing it and then guess what you will have to wait another 30 minutes to do this skill again not really sure why they made it this big of a time limit like heading back over to the speed trap 29 minutes 25 seconds what up limo i mean i'm kind of on the wrong side of the road there but 29 minutes to do this again, guys. So if you do this, you will not get any rewards now for 29 minutes when doing it. Like I said, there is probably a way around it. Not sure because I don't really do the skills. I got all of my parts that's from the events. Yes, I did end up grinding out the two main events for the drag cars. That was kind of a nightmare. But I would say a lot of players probably don't want to sit in one of the events like a drag event here. And probably farm that for two or three hours or six hours like for me to get a chemist. When they could do something like a regular speed trap here and go, you know what? Why don't I end up grinding out the main speed trap or even some of the skills with my drag car? That way I actually will get the part set done this way. Instead of, you know, grinding out one of the events for five or six hours hoping to get a chemist set and only getting two to three parts from it. Why don't I do one of these skills? Because you can keep grinding it over and over. And basically like around 30 seconds you're doing a speed trap. So that's a lot of parts you can get. Now the issue with this though is the fact that if you are grinding it out... You're now going to have to wait 30 minutes to get a single reward from it. And on some of these skills, guys, I'm not even getting rewards from half of them, which is kind of odd. Not sure if that's going to be a bug or, you know, that's probably part of not getting a part from every single skill that you end up doing. And that's probably going to be the kind of thing that most players are going to be like, well, you know what? I don't want to grind out some of these events. I don't want to do like the regular two events here for the drag car. That's going to take a while. So let's go do some of the skills. But now... I hate to say this here, guys, but you're probably going to have to grind out the main events if you are trying to level up like a drag car. Another two classes I did want to mention, the Demolition Derby and the Monster Trucks. There is pretty much no events around the entire map for them whatsoever. Yeah, you could do like the navigation races and stuff, but before, a lot of players are like, let's go do some speed traps or like bullseyes and slaloms with them. It might be a bit more quicker and probably a lot easier to get parts for them. I do know a lot of the escapes before, like I think it was in the Peacock area. Is that the one? I think it was this one. A lot of players were saying you could grind out and it was much quicker. Like, doing one of these guys, if you do like a speed trap or even like an escape, the second you hit that thing, instantly restart your parts are then going to be sent into your inventory. Keep running that over and over and you're probably going to get parts insanely quick. But now you're not going to be able to do that because every time you run it, you're then going to have a 30 minute timer after doing it. So it's probably like, well, I guess I can't farm the escapes anymore because every time I do one of them, it is now going to be an insane... 30 minute timer on it like for example guys right here on the lovely peacock flats which i haven't really done a lot of these but i do know a lot of players grinded them before the second you actually get to the 481 thing you can basically turn around there and boom you're going to be completely done with it by the way this is going to be with a loot digger set let's see what i actually get from it here so load through that get the xp and all that stuff there come on load in load in so what are you gonna give me let's see with a loot digger set yeah, see, there's no way. I didn't get any parts from that unless I'm tripping here. I deleted all my parts. 
So these are all the parts I had on the vehicle before this. So I actually don't think I got any parts at all. Let's do another one actually here. Let me find one. How about this random slalom? Let's do this one. Now I also did want to do this in real time running a hypercar to show you guys exactly how many parts I get running a loot digger. I do know it is probably going to vary and of course RNG is going to play a role here. But I was like, you know what, let's see what we actually can get from it. Now, one of the biggest issues with the skills, guys, having this problem with it, like, yes, I do know having a timer, maybe five minutes would have been okay, but 30 minutes, I really do think that's a tad ridiculous in any of the skills. Like, how many players are going to do, like, a bunch of different skills and wait 30 minutes to do it again? I would almost say basically nobody for that matter. Like, in a way, though, I feel like it comes to a point to where you're probably like, wait, why am I even going to do the skills anymore if I'm only going to get a part every 30 minutes? Yeah, I could go to the other skills and farm those out, but you know what? You might not even get parts. Like, for example, on that last skill, guys, I got one gold part with a loot digger. And I know for a fact right now, I'm probably not the only person doing some of the skills going, wait a second, one legendary part every 30 minutes? What am I supposed to do with that? Like, you will pretty much never get what you need. Even running a loot digger, guys, like, why would you only get one part? Like, I do know some players were mentioning they were getting around something. I think it was, like, four to five parts from one of the skills. I'm guessing it's an RNG thing. Not sure if it's probably going to be, like, a random RNG thing to where, like, oh, here, here's two parts for this one. Then you do another one, and there's no parts. And on top of that, though, you might not get a single part from doing the skill, even though you want to grind them out and hope to get a legendary. Oh, no, but here, here's a purple part because, you know, that's kind of useful. What's also insane, guys, a 30-minute cooldown. I bet right now you can do almost every skill around the entire map and most likely have a timer on all of them. Might have to try that out. But here's something insane, though. Let's say the skills were a 5-minute cooldown, right? After you do the skill, you could probably go do many of the other ones and most likely go back to that one instead of waiting 30 minutes. That's a bit crazy. Like, a 30-minute cooldown on a tiny skill that takes 30 seconds to do? Like, really? That's, like, doesn't even math right, bro. Like, I don't even understand how that... 30 minute for a 30-second event while doing some of the events take 3 minutes to get 3 parts from it. Uh, wh wait a second there. Math and eight, math and again. Now, I have one more thing I want to mention here. Yes, this is obviously pretty annoying for everybody. You know what's also a problem with this, though, guys? Don't want to say it. This is also going to end up bringing up other exploits that you can do or other events that they're most likely going to have to go in and nerf. We do know currently one of the new navigation races can be done in 40 seconds. You can get around like 40 something grand with like using a buck set and then, you know, having a regular XP magnet. You can get around, I think it's like 30,000 XP, but you can also run a loot digger and it's going to be a longer event or, you know, quote of a longer event that you can do in 40 seconds. That is actually going to be the length of some of these slaloms in the game. So like, well, doing that instead of that, you're also going to get who knows how many parts with a loot digger compared to having like the skill giving you one part every 30 minutes is a bit insane now i'm not trying to rank here but i do feel like some of these changes are going to end up bringing up other exploits which we are already currently seeing some of those in the navigation events don't get me wrong guys i understand it but be careful a lot of that stuff is most likely going to be patched pretty dang quick so if you do want to do it i would recommend doing some of those events if you actually want to get parts and stuff but the main solution I see here though is I would make the skills a 5 minute cooldown instead of a 30 minute cooldown. To be honest guys, I would say 30 minute cooldown is absolutely ridiculous. I would like to know what you think about the entire skill change in the comments below, which I would almost guarantee nobody is going to like it. I really do think having them at a 5 minute instead of a 30 minute is probably a better way to do it.